Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys my overall thoughts with the Righteous Fire Inquisitor that I played in the Ritual Softcore League. Um, I've had a lot of fun with this character. We hit 100 mapping. I didn't end up doing Chayula rotations or anything. I pretty much just spammed a toll um, via Harvest Crafting our gear all the way to 100. Didn't really have any deaths on 99 except for I got one hit by a Metamorph by a Ice Nova, which meant it hit me for over 103k. Um, since it's pure elemental and I have 79 cold res along with Tempered by War, so 50% of that hits our fire, which is 90% with a Taste of Hate on for less elemental damage and then the Inquisitor Ascendancy for less elemental damage taken. But anyway, um, aside from that and a desync into an A9 Awakener Storm, leveling from 99 to 100 was actually quite a breeze. So, with that being said, before I jump into any content or talk about anything, I want to throw in uh, a feared invitation really fast. This is essentially just going to have Enfeeble on my head and less AoE. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and throw that in. If I die, I apologize for the rusty work here. I have not really done too many boss or too much bossing in general. There we go. But it should give you a good idea of how much you're able to tank in terms of surviving if i dropped another 50 ex exalts i'd say into my gear i could have a much more tanky character for bossing because like basically my boots are two max res if they were three max fire res i could remove a molten one's mark put in a good jewel and gain two passive points same thing when i switch uh saffles frame to a rare shield with five max fire res i could drop um another molten one's mark gain a jewel and two extra passives and then technically on your chest piece, you don't have to use, you know, prefix explosion for bossing. You could have a life chest piece. And as a suffix, you can gain essentially enduring composure, which would save another two passive points on the tree and a jewel slot. So really big upgrades to come if you want to like specifically be a bosser. Anyway, though, let's go ahead and get started. My mana is spent. Ooh, Chayla, it's a little hard. Twin terrors. Definitely don't know too much about the Synthesis Cortex boss dudes. All I know is he's gonna slam now? No? Tightly. Not too sure. Mortal flesh is so fallible. Gaze into the abyss. Ooh, I think that was the Shaper Beam on the Synthesis degen pool. Not 100% sure there. That was kind of spooked. Yeah, I think we got to get rid of this guy. Let's see. He's lasering. Oh man, these Shaper clones are going ham. Okay, good. That guy's down. Okay, there's Atziri. And Elder. Where is she? Okay, there's Elder Ring. I think I should be able to take... Yeah, I should be able to take a slam if I absolutely have to. Okay, I put this there. That's the Elder Slam, right? Yeah. Okay. I think we're pretty much good here. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's just take one of these, one of this, some of this. Oh man, I remember when this was actually worth something. Oh, one of these. Cool. Sniper bow. What do you have? T3 physical. I think that's poop. Take one of those. 
critical chance. Ooh, max life, lightning resist gloves. That's that's pretty cool. Those are pretty sick. Yeah. All right, I think that's pretty much it from here. All right, so to go over the mapping, since uh, I did use a modified setup for mapping, I do want to kind of change this. So, um, for mapping, assuming that you want to kind of mimic what an Elementalist does. So, Elementalists for Righteous Fire have massive amounts of clear because of their easy access to 100% ignite chance, along with uh, just essentially full prolif and everything built into their ascendancy. Inquisitor is a lot better, in my opinion, at like surviving with their ailment immunity setup uh, and their permanent consecrated ground. But, you can kind of mimic what it sort of is like if you do the following so i'm just going to refund a few points here to show you what i'm gonna do refund again so i just have to pull out okay this one this one this one and this one so i'm gonna replace one of my regular uh flow of life burning brights with a burning bright fan the flames what fan the flames is is it's just ignites you spread to other enemies um, well, basically, if I create an Ignite, it has a Prolif on it, right? And then we just go back into our setup. Then I put a point right here for a chance to Ignite. So let me just remove you, put a point over here, refund this Fire Multi. And then the last thing that I would do, and you don't have to do this, it's just to make it feel a bit smoother. I respect two Life Nodes and grab Holy Dominion for the extra chance to Ignite. And then I do, of course, have a flammability on hit ring. It doesn't have to be a synthesized ring. It can just be like a warlord affix. Um, then, oops. The last thing that I do is I run a level one vitality. So my vitality is here right now. So I just switch it over here. And this is just because of mana cost. Um, and then instead of running Aspect of Spider, I will run a Divergent Herald of Ash. And I don't know what the best Herald of Ash setup is. Divergent just gives me AoE. So we run with that instead of Aspect of the Spider. Okay. And then just to show a quick little map, let's throw in like a, a toll that I've been running 24-7. Good, good. So this is with Monster Elemental Resist as well. I probably should have put on Sextant, so it makes it much more juicy, but oh well. Prime up your inspiration. All right. Oh, actually, two more things I just realized. How silly of me. Uh, Refund two more life nodes. Grab yourself Magmatic Strikes. So this is 40% Fizz converted to Fire. And then the last thing on your gloves, have a prefix open so that you can do... Oops. Physical converted to Fire for a Divine. And I use this setup, you know, from 99 to 100, like I said, because it does take quite a bit of time. And when you're mapping, increasing your clear by quite a bit does make a big difference. I must have time to gather my will. The only thing with this setup is you have to be a little bit careful of shield charging bosses for Fortify because every time you successfully hit with your shield charge, you will override your LE Equilibrium due to the physical converted to fire. If you can somehow force in a Brutality on your setup, you could try that. Otherwise, just make sure that you have your Orb of Storms down slash your Storm Brand and it's immediately overriding so that it like uh, is basically like just re-overriding your EE when you hit them. 
Because otherwise you're just giving the monsters 50% fire resist, which you do not want. If you're having trouble, you could also just unspec LE Equilibrium and use the the ring that gives you socketed LE Equilibrium. But I don't really like sacrificing gear like that. So that's entirely up to you guys. Uh, yeah, overall though, I really, really liked RF Elemental or sorry, RF Inquisitor. I do want to take a look at RF Elementalist as one of my next characters. I'm not too sure how much longer I'm playing this league. Um, but I'm just really curious now on the differences between the two. I do feel like Inquisitor overall is much better for my playstyle um, due to their massive amount of sustain. But I'm really curious at Elementalist <clears throat> going pure life. I'd say I probably will get myself like 7,000 life, maybe 6,500. I'll probably prioritize life a little bit more. So I'd say with really good gear, I'd get 7k on Elementalist. But I wouldn't have any ES. But on the flip side, I would also have the... Um, the Bastion of Elements, I think it's called. So I'd have the Gigantic Bubble, which will probably be about 4k to 4.5k. Um, and since we do physical converted to fire, part of our physical hits the bubble, and then because of tempered, well not even because of tempered by war, but in general, if we do the same setup, most damage is going to go ahead and hit the bubble, which makes it seem pretty interesting. Um, and just to give you guys a rundown of what I'm referring to, I basically am talking about this note here the Bastion of Elements. This has nothing to do with Righteous Fire, but I uh, like to talk about it as a defensive layer because we are really tanky against elemental damage and all the elemental damage will hit this bubble, which means physical damage hits our life pool. So this is kind of like an energy shield bubble like the Inquisitor, it just doesn't add to damage, which is really interesting. Um, the defensive layers are very similar, it's just naturally Elementalist will have a lower effective life pool will not be ailment immune unless you're doing the golem route, but I did not want to do the golem route. Um, so we'll talk about this a little bit more when I get that character set up. Overall though, very happy. Probably the smoothest Righteous Fire character I've actually played compared to all the other ones. I don't really know how like Jug and Chieftain do nowadays. I'd imagine for leveling to 100, you can really just play anything you want because you're just going to design it to do Corpse Explosion and Prolif and Clear anyway. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, anyway, feel free to ask me any questions you guys would like. Don't forget, for the Path of Building link, I am unable to post them on YouTube due to YouTube's current situation, uh, with just flagging things for ridiculous stuff, so the Path of Building links are going to be on my, um, my Twitch. All you have to do is use the build command, the build will pop up, the paste bin, and the leveling guide, and you can just find it all right there for you guys. Anyway, take care. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care, everybody.